I'm gonna do a video write up on the uh, diodes, just because I've had a bunch of people ask me for it, and uh, the uh, one that we post that I posted on, I just want to bang is not on there anymore. But um, so basically, what you want to do is get one in four thousand four diodes. You can get there's several different diodes you can use. Realistically, this is just the most common one, easiest to use. Um, generally, leads about, almost about as thick as the uh, as the wire you're working with. Um, most people solder them. I recommend soldering them. A lot of people will fold this lead over. You can see the lead here. A lot of people fold it over and actually crimp it uh, using like 16 gauge crimps and even smaller crimps than that. Um, and then solder it on top of that. Or uh, there's several, like I said, there's several different ways you can do it. Um, one thing I will say for sure is that when you do it, a lot of people go, what wire do I use? What yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's not really important. Like wire color isn't important. Um, what's important is the label on the actual regulator. If you can see, it actually says S on it. That is sense. The sense terminal is the important part. And that would be, um, if you're looking at the regulator from the alternator, if you can't see it, it would be the furthest to the left, generally when you're looking at the alternator. Um, the, the direction of a diode does matter. It's not like a resistor. Um, this line is actually a current stop, which basically means current doesn't flow back in that direction. So what you're trying to do is you're actually using the diode to limit input voltage into the regulator based off of current consumption and just the general loss that you get from volt, from uh, current going through a diode in general. Um, the, the usual range that you'll see on a regulator that I use is uh, like between 0.3 and 0.4 volts cold and about like 0.2 volts hot per diode. You can strap these in series to increase it. Um, the, the loss is, again, it's scalable. So it's generally like 0.2 hot per diode you use. Um, you can, again, you can use bigger diodes in line just because it's the current loss. And you can also use the resistors as well because the, the sense terminal does actually consume current. Um, one thing I would recommend if you're doing this is not to use it to the battery set at that point, but to actually wire it to ignition. Um, you would not wire it to the fuse box directly per se, but if you're using multiples of these, you really should wire it to an ignition source because the, the sense terminal does consume a little bit of current all the time, even when the car is off. When you use the resistors, uh, what I've seen is the regulator cons current consumption actually does go up. It's not drastic, but, but it is enough where if you're running, say, a smaller CMAX bank, or a, like a say, like uh, the Limitless G10 and stuff like that, um, you can actually see where the regulator will drain the battery in a relatively short amount of time, usually within a, within a few days. Um, but uh, that's, that's basically it. I mean, it re is really that simple. Um, I would recommend, again, taking this, if you're using multiples of these, to a relay um, to off of the either the alternator stud or the closest inline, either bus bar, um, fuses, etc. that you have going into it. That way, it this is going to get the most accurate sense voltage. Um, any questions, uh, just go ahead and, and comment. Um, I'd prefer not to get messages about this just because I see so many. Um, the easiest way to do it would be to comment on the actual video that I'm, put, that I'm posting. That way, I can answer the questions and if anyone else has a similar question, they'll at least be able to see it in the comments. Um, thanks again. Have a good one.